Hey guys, this is Pratik Oswal, founder and CEO of Glide Invest, and we are here to make investing stress-free one financial goal at a time. Hello everyone. Today's topic is asset allocation. Asset allocation is become a gold standard when it comes to investing. You know, it is uh probably one of the most important ways of creating long term wealth and it's pretty much uh i would say accepted in most parts or at least the more mature parts of the world and today it's going it's also going to be a big part of a lot of investors portfolios today in india but what is asset allocation asset allocation is the idea of creating a blend of asset classes for investments the reason why you should create a blend of asset classes in your investments is because you know what we've learned over the last 3 or 4 decades is that market timing is not possible you know market timing uh, asset allocation is the opposite of market timing where you know i do think that splitting your investments into four or five different asset classes makes sense because you don't know what will do well at what time so uh, whereas market timing requires you to time each asset class correctly which i feel is not really possible no one can really predict the future at least not consistently which is why asset allocation has become a gold standard but before we talk about asset allocation let's talk about the different types of assets that are available for investors today number one asset class is equity you know equity is represents a stake in a company you know so when you're buying shares on the stock exchange uh, nsc or bsc or even nysc in new york you know you are buying stakes in companies like reliance tcs apple google and equity assets are arguably the most critical asset class you know because of the high potential of returns and the ability of it beating inflation on a long term basis you know we have to understand that as investors our biggest enemy is inflation and especially if you're living in urban city uh you know money sitting in a bank account will make you extremely poor over time so the only way for you to maintain your uh, purchasing uh, power is to invest in equity so i think equity is one asset class which can give you the best return but if you don't have the temperament to handle equities then equity can also be a huge wealth destroyer so i think it's important to understand that the only way of making money in equity is to invest long term buy and forget the next asset class is debt and debt is basically investing in debt securities like bonds uh, it's also called fixed income and the reason why debt is great is because it's a lot less risky than equity and it's also more predictable you know exactly what sort of returns you end up making in debt securities if you hold them for uh, many years uh, debt is also one asset class where you can choose whether you want to do long term investing or short term investing unfortunately in equity you cannot do short term investing short term investing leads to failure but in debt you know if you want you can invest for one day you can invest for 3 days you can invest for 2 months 5 years even 20 years So I think debt is extremely uh, agile as an asset class. The third asset class is cash. Cash is a very important asset class. It's uh, yeah, it's also very underrated because I believe that uh, any every investor should have some of his wealth in uh, liquid funds or cash. Uh, because a lot of people might have emergency needs some healthcare needs so i do think that you know investors should have uh, some money in cash because uh, they might have some emergency needs uh, at a time where they really cannot sell their long term investments the other one is real estate real estate is extremely popular amongst the ultra hni crowd uh, you know it can be a combination of residential office industrial retail hospitality uh real estate id need to be has a very high cost of entry uh, and also the most illiquid uh, and even though real estate has been historically very popular i do think that um, the last 15 20 years have not been great for real estate and people are moving away from real estate to other asset classes like equity and debt the last is currencies and commodities and currencies can also include cryptocurrency you know uh, currency commodities are also very common um for investors i do feel that gold is today the most common asset class almost every family or most a lot of families have some amount of gold as investments so i do think that currency commodities are also good options uh, for asset allocation so then let's come to asset allocation what are the benefits of asset allocation so so once you've understood the asset asset classes the whole idea is to split your money in these asset classes according to your risk profile 
So if you're higher risk, then you should look at having a lot more allocation towards equity and less towards debt, commodities uh, and, inter and, and international equity. Whereas if you are less risky, then you should have a higher allocation towards less risky asset classes like debt. One thing that most people don't understand is the importance of asset allocation versus trying to find the right fund. What we have learned is that today most people, including I would say I would say 90% of the people out there, focus a lot of their efforts in trying to find the right fund. What we've learned is that 90% of your investment outcome is dependent on your asset allocation, not your fund selection. So I think what you buy or what you sell does not really matter that much. What matters is what is your allocation towards equity, what is your allocation towards debt, towards fixed income, towards real estate, towards international equity, towards coal. That is extremely important. So that's the importance of asset allocation. Other benefits of asset allocation is also the fact that it decreases your risk dramatically. You know, so for example, you know, uh, if you uh, if someone who had done a very simple asset allocation in say the financial crisis of 2008, they would not have lost as much money because uh, most people would be only holding equities and a little bit of debt, so they've lost. But if you held an asset allocation portfolios, your equity would have lost money, but the other asset classes would have done actually pretty well. So, make, so I think what what asset allocation does is that it obviously uh, uh, it gives you a diversifies your risk exposure asset class risk exposure so it makes sense so it, it it makes it very easy for you to expect a smoother return curve and lessens the volatility of your portfolio too much because you're not holding one or two asset classes but you're holding four or five different asset classes and most of these asset classes end up doing well and not doing well at different time periods so risk diversification, lower portfolio volatility is extremely important. Uh, also, international equity is uh, an emerging asset class, and I do recommend every investor should have a minimum of 15 to 20% in international equity. Uh, it it's really, really reduces the volatility of your portfolio. It enhances, uh, and, and it's the only asset class where you are diversifying from domestic equity without giving up returns. So I think it's extremely important, and most people should have it. The other, the other, uh, Advantages are lower stress, you know, obviously lower um, lower risk would be lower stress for investors. Uh, people can, investors can invest a smoother curve when it comes to returns and uh, they can, it really helps investors to stay invested and also keep on investing for a very long time. Uh, apart from that, it also maintains discipline, you know, as I said, because you're expecting a much smoother return curve, discipline is, uh, is there and also you're expecting stable returns when it comes to long term investing. So my other question that I wanted to ask is that, you know, we've seen that, you know, asset uh, equity as an asset class does really well, but should you invest all your money in equity? You know, what we've seen is that equities, yes, is the most important asset class. And I get this, and, and I get this question from many investors, you know, since equity does well, why should I even bother, you know, investing in any other asset class? Well, the reality is that most investors do not have the appetite to wither the volatility of equity investing. Now, equity investing is very risky yes over the long term it's always up but in the short term anything can happen so i do feel that you know investors who are looking at uh, asset allocation should ideally have three or four asset classes having just one asset class is uh, risky yes um, it is possible i know investors who are 100 percent equity but they really have the appetite and i feel most investors do not have the appetite to lose their money you know, there have been instances where people have lost 50 percent 60 percent 70 percent of their money because of uh, losses because of short-term losses because of a crash in the stock market and i do feel that most people don't end up doing that so that's asset allocation what about market timing you know can you time the markets i have also i've mentioned this that timing of the market is extremely difficult you know it is something which uh, very very few people in the world can do almost nobody and no one can really do it consistently so which is why asset allocation is a great way of managing your money so that's it for now. Just to conclude, asset allocation is splitting your money across different asset classes. It's uh, extremely effective. It's how most people manage their money. It helps reduce your, reduce your volatility. It helps give you diversification. It helps you disciplined and also helps you uh, stay invested for a very, very long time. So thank you so much and looking forward to the next session. You can listen to us out here or check out our website 
www.glideinvest.com. You can follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter on at Glide Invest. If you want to reach out to me, then I'm at, at Pratik Oswal 88 on Twitter. Cheers and happy investing. See you guys next week.